Hello, Chip GT here. And when it comes to the Virtual Pinball X software, you can configure your tables in a number of different ways, whether it's having a B2S file, putt packs, color DMDs, uh, DOF links, all, and alternate sound. If you have a VR headset, you can even use custom VR rooms. With all these options, it can be difficult to turn the features on and off depending on the play style you're looking for. I have had many talks with people in the real pin community and a lot of them like keeping their cabinets stock and without any changes and then there's other ones who like to mod their cabinets with as many mods as they can get their hands on. In this video I'm going to show you how to create many different variants of the same table to get the best of both worlds through a special file called the VPM alias. Without any further delay, let's coin in and push that start button. First, I want to say that some of you may want to have different versions of the same table, while others of you may want the full mod experience only, or only the VR room, or only having cabinet, or you're in a desktop environment. Either way you choose to set up and configure your setup is really and truly up to you. I've decided based on some recommendations from my friends in the real pin community to have an offering of a few different experiences to showcase while at Pincinnati. So for, for the options that I have selected for Pincinnati, you have a traditional no modded cabinet and then you have one with butt packs and then lastly is the VR headset room. Now I don't plan on having the VR headset at Pincinnati. This is more for showcasing how virtual pinball can be played when, we're, when we compare against a real pinball machine, but just know that there are options out here for this. Right now we're just going to focus on these two. So I'm going to have a traditional no modded setup and I'm going to have the full what I call Jersey Jack treatment. Um, for the traditional setup, this is just your regular table. It's going to be on the pinball machine. I have DOF links working on it, surround sound feedback. Some of the tables are going to have alternate color DMDs. I know that that's considered a mod, but uh, for me, I just I like having the alternate colors if I can in a in a traditional table. And then we have the B2S file, which you know runs on the back glass and gives us a full DMD setup. For the other version of tables that I'm going to have, it's going to be the VPX tables, but it's going to have putt packs. It's going to have alternate audio, alternate color. Um, Doff links SSF and this this is like the true like every mod that you can think of for VPX. I decided to select the table that I knew some of my real print friends actually have played a ton and uh, one that can also utilize most if not all of the different options for configuring your VPN. In order to choose the best candidate, Sid and I have created our own tool via a spreadsheet and it shows all the different options for the table library that we currently have. However, if you want to be able to see what options are available with all the various links for nearly every table that's out there, first you need to head over to VPIN Universe and then once you log in, click on Tools and then click on the Virtual Pinball Spreadsheet. This pulls up a list of all the different tables. It shows you all the different settings that it has. When you're looking on this, I mean, there's a search bar up here. You can just type in a name. There, there's Avatar. This is the one that I chose to do. Uh, you can even search by feature, whether it's VR, VPX, pup packs. You can give us any kind of feature that you want in here, as long as it's one that's tagged down here. You can look up themes, manufacturer, who the various authors were, what the years that they were created, how many players, you know, all kinds of different things. You can search by the alphabet. This is a great tool to use when you're looking at adding things to your own library. I'll just pick one at random here, like Transformers, and it gives you all the different tables. It shows you what's new. As you scroll down, you can see the B2S files. You continue to scroll down. There's the ROM. Here's the various pup packs and the various configurations. Here's an alternate color file, different POVs for your table, the wheel art and various media, media packs. And sometimes there's more than this. Some, this is kind of where I go first to see what is available. And when I was looking at this, I, I knew that, you know, my friend Mark has Avatar and I was like, you know what, I'm going to go ahead and we'll use Avatar because I can get the alt audio and everything else. The first step is to make sure that you have the files in the right folders 
or the table so that they actually run. So real quick, I have the avatar table here. I have the B2S here. Here is the ROM, the alternate color file, and then the putt pack right here. So all my files are in the proper place. And if I were to open this right now, you would see a B2S file with putt pack on top, or you would see the putt pack pop up and then the B2S file covered up. I want to be able to see both the putt pack and the B2S in two separate tables. So the first step is to first make a copy of the table and we're going to paste it in here. So there's our paste and now we're going to give it a new name. So it needs to be something different from the original name. And uh, for this one, I'm just going to call it B2S avatar just like that all right and that's going to put it down here now this file is currently set up it has the alt colors already on it. it this i'm going to keep this the way it is this is my fully modded version of this table so i'm not going to change anything here but what i need to do is i need to change the b2s file to match this Come on. there we go so now that matches that and it will load the b2s with this table by itself but now we have two different tables and if i were to launch this it would still load the putt back and then put the b2s on top of it so now we have to go in to your vpin main folder and you want to scroll all the way down to the very bottom until you find vpm alias you're going to open this up and when you open this up this is a you know some examples for you you're going to want to delete those like right away and i'm going to call this i'm going to create an alias called b2s avatar you need to also call out what the actual name of the table is and the actual name of the table is what the ROM file is called. So AVR underscore 200 for avatar. Now we're going to save this and I'm going to copy this B2S avatar. Make sure you have no spaces in here. All right. So the name that you want it to be comma, the name that is the actual ROM file, all right? Save. I copied that close. Next, we're going to open up BPX and we're going to load the new table we just created and we're going to modify the script. Okay, so now we're going to go into the script here. I'm going to make that a little bit bigger for everybody. And now we're looking for game name, which is right here. We're going to change. This is the ROM that it's calling out here. And now we're going to change it to the alias name. Which is B2S avatar. Then we'll close this down and hit file save. And now when, I, when we go to play the table, all right, so now when I'm in the B2S table, I'm getting the red DMD, the B2S file is up on the back glass. And this is a full B2S file, so that means it covers the artwork for the display down there on the DMD, which is great. And I can play it, and it plays pretty well. And we don't have any of the pup packs. The I've, it's, it's got the surround sound feedback is turned on, but DOF links is not working. I would have to go into the DOF config tool and create a new file and just import in everything from the old avatar file into this to make it so that I had all the DOF links and everything working. It's not too hard and we can go into that in, in another video, but I just wanted to real quick show you that the B2S is working. And now we're gonna load in the other one. It has the putt pack, the alt color file, the DOF links is working, SSF is working. There's alternate sound in here with the putt pack to give it uh, the movie sounds a little bit better. And there's other call outs that go along with that. So let's check that out. And there's the color DMD. You're gonna have to excuse on the full DMD. I, because we're not running popper, I don't have the artwork behind the putt pack and the full DMD. So it's you'll be able to see a little bit of OBS there in the background. And it plays great. And DOF is working and SSF is working. 
Okay, now let's get the tables loaded in Popper. The uh, the Popper config. So we're gonna go to Games Manager, add new games. You're gonna scan. I've already scanned these in, but you'll just scan in your new games. And I mean, you could make it a little bit easier on yourself by looking for Pinball X. And I've already scanned them in, so they're they're already in mine. But you just select here, here, add games to system. Um, once you're done with that, you can do your artwork again. So I'll come over here. And since these are a little bit different tables, you might want to go back in. my. I have a previous video that I'll link down in the description where you, it shows you how to get all the artwork in here uh, for your table. So here's the avatar. All the artwork is here. And then the B2S version of avatar. Just got to find it is right there and I've already imported all my artwork which is really easy to do I mean you just do your screen captures and then for a lot of these I just went into the uh, pinup folder media pinball X and then I just said okay I want my uh, my game info flyer and then you just you know drag over oh that's the b2s one so you here's my original avatar there's the pup pack version of the avatar and the b2s so you just copy that and paste it in there under flyer and info and you're good to go so now now that i have those games in there you might want to consider looking at your playlists and for virtual pinball, I've created an extra set of playlists. One's B2S files and one's Pup Pack files. That way I can distinguish between the two. And whenever I go and load my popper, I can come in here and I just cycle over to the left. And there's my two play files. And there we go. We'll load up the one. There it is. And it's, it's working. And I'll go back. Now I'll go over to the other table file. And there we'll load the other one. And there it is. You may be wondering why I'm doing the alias files for my cabinet. And that answer is because I'm going to jump down the rabbit hole of VR in my next series. So when doing VR, putt packs and all audio and the colors can waste a lot of valuable computer resources. So I want the ability to turn these features off, but maintain the DAW features while playing VR to make the gameplay more real. I will not have the VR option at Pincinnati this year, but maybe in the future. The next series is going to be all about how to get VR set up, configured and get it up and running in a way that works best for you. I will spread the videos out a little bit over the next series and probably releasing one video every two weeks. And this is so that I can have a little bit of time to really understand the technology of the VR headset and do some research and get you all the information that you need in a much easier way to do it because I've never done VR on my pinball cabinet before. So that wraps up this video. Hopefully this taught you something new. If I did, please like, please subscribe, share this out with your friends. It really does help the channel grow. Thanks again for watching. I'll see you in the next one.